to Avenging Past 7. Today is day 87 of our free to play farming guide. First thing I want to um, request is please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and the notification bell, as well as join our Discord that we have down in the link below. And earlier this past weekend, Logan Courageous and I did a movie review together for the second week in a row. Um, that is posted on my channel, so please go check that out. We did a I would say more obscure holiday movie, but one that he really enjoyed that um, I had never seen before. So we talked about that and had a lot of fun with that. So go check that out as well. Um, with that, I will go on, get on into it and see what we got going on with our roster. Now, if you did end up missing any of the live streams this past weekend, um, I did go um, and live stream my Grand Arena attack phases for, let's see, I think I did that Wednesday night, Friday night, and then last night. Um, and I feel like we did pretty well. Um, last night, um, we were up against some, I wouldn't say, well, yeah, I'd say a bit of tougher teams. Um, but on the alt account, I got a full clear. On the main account, I got almost a full clear, but got stuck up against some pretty good geos. Luckily, the geos were on the back wall. And so I was able to take out uh, both of the front walls and the ships. So we'll see where that takes me and if I get a win out of that if they get stuck up against my CLS wall but um, that's a little short recap for you on how the Grand Arena went uh, let's see I I know I've talked about it a couple times but I'm super excited about Jedi Survivor um, I keep seeing different new other videos talking about different things that they noticed within the trailer and what's going on with that so I am ready for March when that comes out but I'm also ready for January when Bad Batch comes out we are uh, right on the verge of a bunch of new Star Wars content and I'm excited about that let's see I think we're gonna not too many tunes use that one I think I'll go for some of these now because I've been going for the crit one thing I do need to think through and uh, plan out for the next Grand Arena is my defense and my offense teams because I only have two teams on in, on my alt account that are worth using in Grand Arena um, and then I have a few defensive teams but I'm gonna have to take one of them off of defense so that I can at, at the very least have a third offensive team because I can always you know I can take out those front two walls but then I can't, normally can't do anything on the back wall or I've been having to split up my uh, Bastila Jedi team so that I take, I think I've been taking Bastila, Yoda, and Anakin, and then Ahsoka and Mace Windu and a third um, to take out another team so that I can get that full clear, which I'm okay with. I don't have a problem with that, but I'd rather use, well, I mean, I want to be able to underman, and that allows me to underman, but... If one of those teams fails and can't get the win, then I'm really stuck because I just used everything I had. So, I mean, it's very it's a very early game account. It's like 600,000 GP or less. Um, but I'm you know I need to work on that some more. Now, right now on that account, I am farming Geo Brood Alpha, but it's gonna take me a while to get there. On this account, of course, we're working on Basila, Jolie, and some Imperial Troopers. So, you know, on this account, we're working on, you know, those two teams, which are very good teams, very useful teams. Let's see. But it is it is a slow, slow burn on this, on the YouTube account right now. Just trying to make sure we're collecting everything, trying to go through and do the refreshes every day, multiple times a day if possible. See, I got an achievement. Oh, win the first territory war. Nice. So, you know, it's been going well. Been going slow. Uh, let's see. I've been I've been hitting a few more achievements and completions and completing different things a little bit more on my main account and alt account. On the main account, I got Wampa up to seven star and I have him. Let's see, what did I do with him? I got him up to like gear 11, and I'm working on gear 12 for him. I'm trying to get him up to the Rex for uh, Jedi Knight Luke, but as well as just being able to be another really good solo character for uh, Grand Arena, because I know he's, you know, I know I've heard a lot of stuff about him being really good in Grand Arena, but 
haven't had him at a point where I could use him at all, so try to get him to that point, because it would be very nice to have another character that can just solo a uh, squad on Grand Arena, and then, you know, I have Darth Vader, I have Wampa, I have Palpatine Mara Jade, you know, I have some variability, variety, uh, to do better and get try and get to max banners easier. So, you know, I'm excited about that. I want to get that going. Should well, I, sh I should be able to start using him in the next Grand Arena, because um, all these improvements I've done to him started after uh, signups uh, last week, just because I didn't have the resources available. And now I'm starting to get the resources a bit easier. I do want to say this mod update has been fantastic for me. It's made modding or getting the gear. I say I said mod update. The gear update has made getting the gear so much easier, and I've really noticed it. So, you know, if you're if you had been struggling with gear in the past, just know, you know, just focus on, you know, you can so much it's so much easier to go and farm the gear than it was in the past, and you'll get a lot more of it out of there. So this gear update has been useful. It they did implement it in a good way. So if you were worried about, you know, them updating, changing the gear, and it not working right the first time, I feel like it's worked right from the beginning. And so that is nice, and I'm happy about that. Uh, let's see. Um, what else has been going on that I can talk about? I'm trying to think of different things in the game. So there's a couple of those done, and I'll do more of these later on today. Let's see. Okay. Let's see, am I able to take out this third tier? Let's see. What are the what are the units used for this? Oh, I mean, with Dark Trooper, I should be able to. Um. But yeah, so you know, it's. Let's see, where are we with our tunes? Yeah, see, we're, I've been focusing on these three right now with Piet, Sean, and Veers. It's been going slow. You know, I've been doing my refreshes on them. And I think once I get Veers and Piet usable, then I should be able to get to Jolie. I've been having, I think I've tried to go over to Jolie, but I struggled with getting there. Or I just haven't worried about it because I'm focusing on these three. Um, I just know I can't, f I'm not at his, uh, node yet. So, you know, it's, it's a slow burn. I wish it was faster, you know, but it, we're getting there. They gotta, they gotta keep doing some stuff to be able to get you to spend money on the game. Not that it's working on me. I am not spending more money on this game. Let's see. Oh, I didn't do my fleet battles? Okay. So let's see, fleet battles. So for fleet battles, what I've been doing is I've been going after, of course, uh, Jedi Knight Anakin's, ooh, three, his ship, working on getting that to seven star, but I've also been going over to Slave One and starting to collect Slave One, which, no banners off that. But after I do Slave One, I also go for Geo, for Sunfac. Um, and I think I usually get to refresh all three of those at least once a day. Um, sometimes more. So, that's what I've been focusing on the ships, is to, you know, collect those, get, keep those going up. I've been trying to make a good, you know, get my Geo ships up, get my uh, Republic ships up, and making Home 1 a good usable capital ship. Um, because I really like the Home 1 as my offensive ship, and the Executrix as my defensive ship, which we could always change it up um, as we learn more. But that's what I've been doing on my both of my other accounts um, so I'm wanting to at least with that go you take that understanding into the YouTube account um, and see what I can go from use that for from there uh, let's see what kind of stuff we got down here okay we do have Poplu I'm just gonna keep buying the uh, Ewok shards as they show up in the shop because I know it takes a long time to collect all of them and that way once we're get to that phase in the game in the uh, farming guide. Maybe I can be mostly there already. Let's see. 
Uh, but also we're going to need, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and buy these because those will be useful. Let's see, those, we'll go ahead and pick up those, and I might save the rest of that to see what else pops up. Uh, with the uh, squad currency, let's see, I've been buying some Tarkin shards now, uh, getting working on him because I know he's going to be, I know someone I think asked a comment in that the other day, and I or on Discord, and I've been doing that because he is going to be, an important character because of his capital ship. And so I'm going to need him to be at a decent spot to improve upon his capital ship. Um, let's see. These I'll need to buy, get, earn more of those with here. Now the other day someone had mentioned that they haven't seen any Razor Crest shards in the uh, Fleet Arena store. I have been seeing them. They are there. I think that with their newest update they've changed some rates um, and some drop rates on here. So I think that's why things have been going different. Because I haven't seen Darth Vader or the Advanced TIE Fighter in here much recently either since the update. Um, and I know I saw a comment that one of y'all had been noticing that. So I think that they just changed some of the drop rates, which stinks. Because I really liked the drop rates. I had some really good drop rates for a couple weeks going on there. And now I'm not having that many great drop rates. Uh, let's see, Guild Events... See, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna save these those up for right now. Uh, and then that I gotta save up. Um, as well as on my main account, um, since I've seven starred Wampa, I'm starting to go for Hoda shards and uh, get those collected. Cause once I have Wampa ready, the next tier after Wampa is Hermit Yoda. So I'll have to start getting him ready as well. Which of course he's very, I believe, very useful character. Very works very well with different teams as well. So it's not that you know bad a decision to go after um so i've been starting to work on that which actually my oh i'm not on imp troopers i was like oh that's an easy team to take out and then i'm like uh but i don't have the same roster as another account so we'll just back out of that uh let's see today is monday tomorrow or this evening we'll get the results from grand arena i hope all of y'all have had a good record with your uh, grand arena this week hopefully not too many uh matches that you had no chance at hopefully you had some fair fair matchups let's see but we will end it here i do want to say thank you for joining don't forget to hit subscribe like and notification bell also if you're still here and you haven't already please join the uh, discord and as well as don't forget to go to the channel and check out the movie review we have a lot of fun with those um, i'll be filming another one tonight to release this saturday so you will have a chance you know there are, you know we're going to keep doing that keep doing some different videos see what you know what y'all enjoy what i enjoy what we can make happen from that Y'all have a great day, and may the Force be with you.